All right, we're looking at the Klein Tools ET110 carbon monoxide meter. This is it, it's orange, runs off a couple batteries. Here's the screw, take that out. You can put the batteries in it. The batteries are in included. The sensor on this is supposed to last five years. Now, when you first turn it on, you wanna turn it on in an area that doesn't have carbon monoxide. So what I do, I just go outside and I'll turn it on, but I'm inside, so just, I'll just turn it on right now. And we'll test this again. I'll go outside and we'll do a couple tests here in just a second. It's gonna count down from five just to kinda calibrate or do whatever it's doing. Functions are pretty easy. This isn't a button right here, it's just an indicator light. We have temperature, so we can see the temperature. We switch that temperature, push it again, show it's 71 degrees in here. And if we look at my thermostat, so that's pretty accurate. Uh, so yeah, that shows it there. And then we can do the max. So when I turn this on, it will shut off in 20 minutes. I'm not sure how you would make it go longer than 20 minutes, but within those 20 minutes, you can hit max. And I'll show you the max parts per million of carbon monoxide it's detected it's also got a hold button got a set button sound button and it's got a backlight so if you turn that on it'll be backlit but let's just go out and do a couple tests on this all right so i'm just going to demo this real quick i'm going to turn on the car we're going to sit by the exhaust pipe and kind of watch what this is doing so i'm going to start the car okay so one other thing I wanted to mention about this is that it does take up to a minute to get readings. So you're not gonna wanna just walk throughout your house and go like this. Anywhere you wanna go to measure, you're gonna wanna make sure you sit there for a minute. Okay, so we'll put it right behind this exhaust here. Oh, watch out, pups. Oh, don't, no, 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 don't do that. And we're just gonna sit and wait. I've also done some tests on this where I exhale into this and it you'll see it shoot up after about 10 15 seconds but sometimes it can take a little bit longer uh something else i realized though too is that my wife emits more carbon monoxide than i do i'll have to breathe it in this thing a few times where she'll only have to breathe in like once and it will jump so um i think that has something to do with the metallic rate metabolic rate of your body but we're just holding it here i haven't done this test before but let's just see if it's going to pick up or how close i would actually need to be to this exhaust but in theory you would think this would work or it would show some um, signs of carbon monoxide so far maybe it's because I'm outdoors that it's just getting a fresh breeze You can see it's reading up. Let's get a little bit closer in it and I'll show you kind of what the alarms would sound like. You see there's the flashing indicator. Let's turn, um, to turn the, let's see. Okay, now the sound should be on. See, there's the max. If I were to go to hit max, and then average, I can cycle through those. So the, the max has been 19 so far. All right, let's go downstairs and test around the, uh, the furnace. So for those of you who watched my last video about the furnace and how they were having it uh, basically exhaust into the attic up there they came by they ran it out this window uh all y'all told me that was unacceptable which i agree with i just wanted a few hundred second opinions uh they came and they put a window in but they did a crappy job sealing it up like i don't know i'm waiting until it's not so freezing here and gonna re do that window but i'll show you what they did do basically made it so it went up that chimney but then they ran that uh flue pipe out and they only had it coming i made them add another section i think he's going to charge me for it but whatever i wanted it to be sitting above that roof line so that's what that looks like okay let's go back in and do some measuring okay so it just turned on 
you see the flames. I'm just gonna set this meter right here and we're gonna sit for a minute and just see if we get a reading off of it. That 19 max, that's from when we were outside uh, checking the car and we're just gonna sit here and, and see. So it appears not to detect any right there. So I'm gonna go, we'll stick it in a vent. I could hold it here for a minute, but I mean, this is pretty well sealed. So I think that'd be a waste of time. Let's go and just put it by a vent for a minute. All right, so I'm just having it sit here by this vent. We'll let it sit here for a minute. Like I said, sometimes it will work 10, 15 seconds, but it will be less than a minute is what the instructions say. All right, I think we're good. I'm gonna do one more test just to show you uh, in real time. I'm gonna blow some smoke at this thing just so you can see uh, what that, the reaction time. All right, so here we have it on the counter. I'm gonna use some cigarette smoke basically just to show you how long it takes. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not long at all. And you can hear the audible sounds. So it just takes a, not as long as the reading for it to go back down. We'll have it go back down to zero. Look at that, max 311. All right, now we're down to 311. I'm gonna have my wife exhale on this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, she must have clean pipes today. Oh, there we go. About 10 or 15 seconds. And then you'll see it drop back down right there perfect something else i want to show you too if you're worried about carbon monoxide might as well check your gas it's a cheap little meter i picked up i think it was like around 20 dollars top tees gas leak detector this will detect i think different kinds of gases but uh you just like we'll just test it out here we're gonna hold just a lighter by it and just depress the gas no flame And you see it picks up gas leaks. So if you can't smell them, this would help you. You can see it's kind of not detecting it anymore, so it goes away. And you just hold this kind of by the gas line for a couple seconds where the joints are. And yeah, that's that.